What's up guys and good morning. We are starting the day off here at the courtyard in Marriott. I am at work right now. It is about 6.05 or something in the morning. It's pretty dead so I wanted to pull out the camera and uh, just show you guys the view that I get every single day at work with those nice buildings in the back. Beautiful lighting. Doesn't really show up too good on camera but trust me when I say the lighting is beautiful today guys we're going to be getting some exciting stuff done um, first off we're going to be working on the rear bumper again of course I worked on it a little yesterday I didn't do much mainly just put some bundle hair down and sanded it um, pretty much blocked all of that so that's looking good we're gonna get up in there today and then we're gonna be doing this today and making that end cap also the other exciting thing is we're going to be fixing my driver's window for those of you that don't know exactly what's wrong you guys are gonna find out later I can't do it here but the window was broken into um, a while back about two years ago I had my car broken into and uh, my insurance was cheap and they put in an aftermarket window and then it came off the track so on and so forth I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it is that's happening so those are the things that's going to be taking place today. I'm very, very excited to have a working window again. Also, guys, stay tuned because I have some very good news for this build. Very, very good news. So you guys are not going to want to miss it. So I will catch you guys at 2.30 when I am off. Peace. It's the weekend, baby. Hey, I'm so stoked. Oh, my God, guys, you don't even know. Today was super super slow it was literally a ghost town at my job and we did nothing i mean nothing we stood there for eight hours doing nothing i think i helped one guest and that was like right before i got off of work um so oh my god i was just dreading being there the entire day but anyways guys it is the weekend i am so freaking excited because this weekend is going to be a very good one um as you guys know we're heading to shane's right now where we're going to be getting some work done um and then i'm going to go wash the car and all that stuff later uh for the barbecue that i have tomorrow my 1000 subscriber uh barbecue slash mini car meet and then sunday we're going to universal horror nights and then monday i have off and I might be doing something. I might. It depends on how today goes. So, I'm going to deal with this traffic right now. <laughs> I'll see you guys when we get to Shane's house. Alright guys, we're here at Shane's house. So, we're pretty much going to get started and jump right into it. So, today, like I said in the morning, guys, we're going to be working on this right here. I'm not going to be doing the corner. I apologize. Um, I don't have any more Bondo hair and I need that and I don't want to skip that step and just jump into Bondo because then it's not going to be uh, the best of the work. So I'd rather just keep that how it is until I actually have the appropriate stuff I need. But we are going to go ahead and throw down some Bondo um, right there. I have this corner piece that's going to be going on. I'm going to try at least and get this put on. Um, some of the top right here has to be cut. And then, um, yeah, so I might, be, I might be trying to do that today as well, but you can see that's how it's going to be. Um, and then Shane's going to be working on this window. Um, let me show you guys exactly what it is that it does. What's up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, so what happened was it broke, and it's been like this for about a year. So if you look, um, you can hear it, but it doesn't move and that's rolling up. So what I have to do is I have to roll it down and then um, push the window down by hand and then hold it there and then roll the window up, lock it in place. And then when I want to put the window back up, I have to roll the window down, push the window up, roll the window up to lock it in place. So Shane's going to be working on this. Um, so what I got was uh, this stuff right here. If you guys can see some uh, JB weld. It says it's for glass. Um, really strong bond stuff so we're gonna go ahead and put that in the part that's broke or actually it's not even really broke it's just the window supposed to sit in there and it's not so um i'll be showing you guys that uh once all of the door card and everything is taken off for those of you that don't know how to do it um you take this off there's supposed to be a screw in there there's gonna be a screw in here take this off 
take the tweeter cover off. There's gonna be a screw right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. A screw here, and then I don't know if there's one underneath. And then when the door card comes off on the back side, you're gonna have the plug for the um, light, and then pretty much lift it up and then pull it out. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna set you up and we're gonna get started. the door panel off um so then after that you want to go ahead and take this off and then i believe you put the window down right a little bit put the window down and then i'll show you exactly the issue in case you guys are having this problem you're about to see it right here what it is right here that thing right here the window i don't know how well you guys can see but the window is supposed to sit in there and uh it's not so we're gonna go ahead and use the glue and it's gonna be pretty much going right in there and uh, yeah, so I, I can take this out. I know. Oh, and I need to tape this up somehow. That's that's what always happens with me, and I get pissed every time when I would accidentally drop the window all the way down. I would literally have to pull half of that off, and then reach my hand in here and like get pull the window up. It sucks. Um, or I have this tip right here that mixes it rather than squeezing that together, mixing it and trying to put it on. Um, I bought this tube and this tube attaches pretty much just like that. That way it mixes it automatically and we can just squeeze it in there and then set it in place. And then um, from there, I'm just gonna, we're gonna probably obviously try it out, let it dry for maybe you know a few half minutes, half an hour, and then um, try it, see if it works. Cause yesterday we did this and it came right back off. So that's why I went and got the glue. So if it works, I'm gonna roll the window up, keep the window up, probably for the whole rest of the day and tomorrow. And then um, hopefully from here on out, it continues to work. And if it does, the windows what I um, are going to be getting tinted on Monday. And that's what I told you guys earlier in the video that I have something going down possibly. Um, that's what it's gonna be. If this works, I can finally tint my windows. For all you guys who have been asking, well, tint your windows, tint your windows, this is the reason why I didn't. So. Hold that. Hold that. So we're pretty much gonna tape the window. Oh, wow. You know what else you could do? Is put something right here, like a wedge. You know, so it stays in there. So, I went ahead and got some Bondo down. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. I think it's already pretty much dry. And I'm gonna put down a little bit more. That feels almost straight. Almost, almost no low spots at all, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down another wipe, and then we're gonna sand it. Bada boom, bada boom. So a better look, guys, um, Shane got it off. Let me see it again. So this is it right here, guys. Your window sits in this. So he's trying to clean it right now, and then pretty much we'll put the glue, which is those two bolts right there and right there. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this works, because I really, really miss having a window, and I really, really want to get my windows tinted. So um, I just threw down some more Bondo, so I'm going to let this fully cure. I think I might try to play with this. I don't know. I'm so lazy. I hate bodywork. <laughs> I just have to cut a little bit off and then um, pretty much fit this into place. 
and then that glue I'll probably use as well and put um, in the seam. I know we're gonna have a little bit of a gap, that's fine. Um, damn, that fits almost like perfect. It's gonna look so sick. Anyways, yeah, probably put some glue, brackets, and then um, go from there. I don't really quite know, honestly, yet. If I can just at least get this done and the window working, I'm cool with that. that up in there we're putting it everywhere guys make sure this thing so much easier that it mixes it too with that thing rather than oh it's dripping on me <laughs> dude it cures in a minute too just so you know I don't know if you guys can see that because it's dark, but it is in there. Is it all the way in? Should I try to push it down a little? That's what I was saying, dude. It cures in one minute. Is it so? Is the window all the way in there, though? That you will just do the other syringe because that you're going to have to mix it. Last one. Make it useful. You want me to push down on the window? Yeah. Like, see if it's all the way in? Yeah. It's not. All right, guys, so while that's um, drying. So you are gonna try it? Yeah. Just gonna keep it like that, right? Like that so I'll keep bit. it up. I'm gonna close the windows and shit till my, my battery's gonna die. But, or the doors. So while that's drying, cause we're gonna be keeping that for a minute, that way it actually dries. I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this sanded. I went ahead and cut the end part, but um, I'm not gonna work on that today, guys, just because it's gonna be pretty tedious to do. Um, it's harder than you think. It's not just about mounting it in place. Uh, there's going to be more to it, and I'm really, really not in the mood for that, and I don't want to be rushed doing it. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pretty much start sanding this, so I'm going to get you guys set up. Alright guys, so I'm going to try to say this quick because my camera is completely glitching and I really need to get a new one ASAP. So I don't know how much of the bumper I even got recorded, but um, a quick update on it. It's very, very smooth. I'm not done yet. I'm going to continue sanding, but it's looking and feeling um, very, very good. It sucks because other than this corner right here, pretty much everything's like pretty close to being done and then it's just ready for blocking and I'll probably put another skim of Bondo um, down another time obviously um, window not sure yet um, we'll come to that in a second coming back over here looks like Shane is finishing up right now sick just putting the tweeter cover on and that's it hell yeah so now that he's done with that I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then um, I'm pretty much done for the day so Again, I didn't get to do as much as I really would have liked. I would have liked to finish that corner piece and um, got into the little grill area, but it is what it is. We got a really big section done. Most of the layout is done on the bumper. Ciao! Thank you, thank you. Sir. I'm gonna get you beers tomorrow instead. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I was running late. You guys want Shane to do anything, just buy him a beer and he'll do it. <laughs> All right, car is looking good. We're done here for the day, boys. Got a lot done, but a lot more to go on everything. The whole freaking bumper still has so much more to go, but we're making huge progress. 
the part that kills me the most is this. I see how much I've done, and then I still have to shave the stupid exhaust cutouts on both sides. Fuck. Fuck me. Alright guys, so, um, the other day, uh, actually let's start back from a few weeks ago. As you guys know, for those of you that do know, I was looking into getting a truck. Um, I needed a daily because this thing is just a freaking gas guzzler, and um, I, I wanted another car and let that sit and be able to rip everything apart from the LS and that allows me to do that because I have another car to back it up. As you guys know I don't have a truck still because um, every truck that I have went to look at and um, talked to the person about it all turned out to be shit. Either the truck was complete shit or the people lied about the truck and, and um, left out a bunch of stuff and not willing to budge. So I kind of put that on hold. Um, let me come over here where the lighting's a little bit better. All right, that's a bit better. So, um, so I kind of put that complete that whole thing on hold. And um, the other day, actually, um, I was on the freeway going to work at, in the morning, and I saw a car driving. And I'm gonna tell you guys what it is because I'm not getting it anymore. What happened? What? Oh, I thought you were like ah. Never mind. So on the freeway, I saw a Hyundai Tiburon, um, and I've always, I've always loved those cars because it, it looks a lot like the Genesis, and I even loved them before the Genesis ever even came out. And so I was like, you know what? What if I get that? I know they're great on gas. Um, let me look into them, and then that'll also be another car I can introduce um, to the channel. So I started researching, so on and so forth. Long story short, I found one, and I was going to buy it actually today, which is Friday. And um, it was manual, it was white, it was a 2003, freaking, it was mint. And um, so I was gonna do it, I had got the money out for it and everything, and I came to the realization that, is it really gonna save me money? Because that was the whole point, I wanna save, gas and not spending so much money on gas in this uh, in this car and I'm like not really because the insurance on this I have full coverage I'm gonna end up dropping that's probably the cheapest one and then for the um, Tiburon I was going to get full coverage those combined is probably gonna come out more to than what I spend if not the same on the car now so I thought to myself there's no point in doing that especially right now because I have some things going on in life where I really need as much money as I really can. So I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to hold on to the car and then I think we're going to um, do some stuff to this. So some plans that I have planned guys, once the bumper, front and rear bumper are done, I am getting the bottom half professionally painted. I'm talking to two people right now about it. One guy is uh, really hooking me up in that he's out in Bakersfield. and. Um, if that if, if he ends up coming through um, that's gonna be a cool little video because we're gonna be taking a little road trip about two hours from me up there and probably be there while he paints it and records some of it um, if that doesn't fall through I'm just gonna take it to a shop near me that I've been to before and we're gonna get it painted but the point is we're gonna get the bottom half painted white I'm not gonna keep it a secret we're gonna paint the whole car pretty much the whole car is gonna be white so I'm very excited about that that's gonna just make the car just look that much better a few other things that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be getting um, pretty much doing a full tune-up on the car. Or actually, I was deciding on actually buying a new motor for the car, just the same motor, but one that has less miles. But then I know my car right now has about 254,000 miles, but it runs beautiful, it runs very, very strong. So I actually went ahead and I think I'm going to do a full tune-up on this car. Um, and when I say tune-up, I'm talking, I, I already ordered a new air filter for the car. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, place the order on some spark plugs, some spark plug wires, and then um, maybe even a new fuel filter, things like that, just to get the car running a bit better, and that might even save me um, a little bit more on gas mileage. So that's some things we're going to do, be doing. The big, big thing that I'm going to be doing, and this is a big one, guys. I think you guys are going to love this one because the time has finally come. Months ago, I said I was going to do this. Can you guys guess it? Comment down below right now. Comment down below if you guys can guess what you think I'm going to be doing. Alright, did you do it? Alright. 
So this isn't gonna happen within the next couple weeks, probably not even the next couple of months. This is gonna take some planning, but we're gonna be converting possibly, I think it's gonna happen, but possibly. I may not, I don't know 100% yet, but we're gonna be going five speed manual swap. I already have the price for every single part and I have a guy, he's actually a subscriber, it, you know who you are. I may take a road trip out to Sacramento in the car where a subscriber is going to actually help me do this. Now he did this on his car and it took him two days. So I'm trying to gather as much information as I can right now and um, if all looks good, we're gonna be manual swapping this thing. So we have a lot of good shit going down on top of the other stuff that I've already had planned to do with this thing. So I'm very, very stoked. And as well, like I said, on Monday, window tint, as long as the window doesn't break. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe because we have a lot of good things to come. We are growing each and every day. So with that being said, guys, if you guys like the sound of all of that, make sure to smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are watching this and you aren't already.